Hey everyone, I just want you to hear the testimony of Sam with my friend here. We we were at a kickstart three years ago in, in America where his daughter came up of a wheelchair after a few years in a wheelchair. He just came and told me the testimony and I want you to hear this testimony. Yeah, um, it was about uh, three years ago and my daughter had been in a wheelchair for two years. And uh, so she was in a wheelchair from basically um, uh, 14 till she was 16. Before that, she'd been a, a ballerina and dancing every year. Uh, she loved ballet. It was kind of like her life and uh, her passion too. So being, what happened, she had dysautonomia and Ehlers-Danlos Syndrome. So she was bedridden for two years. And with the dysautonomia, she'd get vertigo. Uh, it was so bad she couldn't even sit up and uh, um, brain fog. And so we had taken her everywhere for um, medical treatment, uh, doctors, every type of specialist you could think of. We had taken her to uh, Mexico for uh, stem cell treatment. And um, so we tried everything. And I had been following Torben online and I was, I was just amazed with what I was seeing. And I'd been a Christian, so I'd, I'd been wanting this more Christian life. And um, so I was actually gonna go to Denmark. And so I looked online and uh, I thought, well, um, rather than go, let's look online and see what's happening. And this is the way God works. So the next weekend, Torben was coming to Dallas and we live in Houston. So I, I was like, oh, I, I couldn't believe this. It was obviously God. So I told my wife, I says, listen, I'm going to Dallas this weekend because I needed to get this filling and I was gonna come back and share it. And she says, no, 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 we're going to Dallas. So we packed the whole family up, me and my wife, our three daughters. And uh, we came up to Dallas and um, went to the meeting. As it turned out, my daughter was so sick uh, she couldn't even come to the meetings. So uh, a couple from the meeting came back to the room, they prayed over her, and um, uh, I, I was disappointed because I, I thought she would like get out of bed and everything would be like right away. But um, that's not how it happened, so, so don't get discouraged. But what happened was um, almost immediately, like that day, her body started rejecting uh, medicine because she was on different medicines for the, uh, the vertigo and whatnot. But uh, she would take the medicine and she would throw it back up. So she, her body was rejecting the medicine. And um, so my, after a couple times this happened, my wife realized she had to stop giving her the medicine. So um, uh, as the weekend ended up, we were driving back uh, to Houston. And I, I, I can still remember this to this day. Um, me and my wife are sitting there and our daughter's sitting up in the back seat and she's laughing with her sisters. And it had been so long since we've heard, heard her laugh because she'd been in so much pain and everything. And um, so now she's better. She's sitting up in the back seat. She's laughing with her sisters. And um, before that, she had been bedridden for two years, pushing around the neighborhood in wheelchairs for walks. She couldn't walk. And uh, now she's better. She's, she's dancing again. She's walking around the neighborhood. And the, the neighbors see her and they're like, what happened? You know, we saw her in a wheelchair for two years. And now she's, um, so we have an incredible testimony there. And uh, this is really cool. Since she was a ballerina, we put a, had a ballet room put in the house for her. And um, we didn't know what to tell her while she was sick. So we'd always tell her, you, you know, well, God's gonna heal you someday and you, you'll dance for God in his kingdom. And uh, so after she got better, my wife and her went up to Billy Graham's Retreat Center in Asheville. And my wife sent me this video of my daughter and she was dancing in the aisle of one of the um, uh, chapels they have there. And uh, so I'm watching this video online and she's dancing in the chapel. And God says to me, he said, you told me, you, to you said that someday she would dance in my kingdom, but she's dancing in my house today. And that's just our God. He's amazing. Beautiful. So, don't give up. Don't there give up. is power and, and healing mm -hmm. is, is having many different yes. ways. And it's so beautiful mm -hmm. to see doctors could not help. Mm -hmm. Other people could not help. Even there where there's nothing mm -hmm. out there who can help, yeah. God have a way. God, he can do things we cannot do. Yeah. So, and, so beautiful. Uh, I remember one time we went to a specialist and he told her, he says, uh, you know, the pain's never going to go away. You're never going to get better. There's nothing we can do. And he says, and the bad news is the pain's only going to get worse as time goes on. Mm. And that's when, you know, God stepped in and it's done. Amen. Beautiful. God bless you all out there. This is what God is yeah. doing.